you have gained root access to your Pixel or Pixel XL, or even just installed something like TWRP as the custom recovery, then you have made changes to the system partition and will likely be unable to accept an over-the-air update. Now, currently there is a systemless version of root for the Pixel, but if you have installed any root applications or any other root modifications, then you've likely modified that system partition. So if you ever wanted to accept an over-the-air update, you will likely notice that the update has failed and to be able to accept over-the-air updates now you will need to revert back to stock and that's what I want to show you how to today how to do today so no matter if you've actually rooted your device or if for some reason you just want to revert back to stock to hopefully increase performance or for troubleshooting a certain issue on your device you'll be able to follow this video and the full tutorial to walk you through that. So to start you're going to need to have certain things set up. You're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools on your computer. If you don't already have this or have any other of the other things set up then be sure to check the full tutorial link in the description below this video as I link to all of the required parts of this. Once you have ADB and Fastboot installed, go ahead and launch the ADB service. You're also going to need to have Google's USB drivers installed. You're going to need to go through and activate enable developer mode so that you can come in here and enable USB debugging mode and then you'll want to connect the computer to your phone with a USB cable once you do that after ADB after the ADB service has been started you'll get a prompt asking if you want to allow USB debugging access from this PC Let's go ahead and tap on the always allow box and then allow it. And lastly, you're going to need to download the factory images for the Pixel or Pixel XL from Google. Again, I'll have the link for that in the full tutorial. Once you have downloaded the factory images to the PC, you'll want to extract them and they'll extract into an individual folder so you'll want to go into that folder and then copy the individual elements and files from that folder and you'll need to paste these files or move these files into the same folder that your ADB and Fastboot tools are located in so for me that is C program files x86 minimal adb and fastboot but for you it may, it may be different if you installed minimal adb and fastboot in a different di directory or if you're using a different version of adb and fastboot so once these files have been moved there once you have the factory images set up in the minimal adb and fastboot directory we're going to need to boot the Pixel or Pixel XL into fast boot mode. This is also known as bootloader mode. And if you're unaware of how to do this, again, you can check the full tutorial link down below this video. And I also have another video on the channel that walks you through that, st that setup. And once we are back in fast boot mode, we can go ahead and connect the Pixel or Pixel XL to the PC again. When you are in fast boot mode with the Pixel or Pixel XL connected to the PC, 
we can turn our attention back to the command prompt. And we're just going to type out this flash all, flash dash all.bat file name, which as you can see is right here. It's just a script that will run through and flash all of the factory images to the pixel and pixel XL. Once you type that out, just go ahead and press enter on the keyboard. And you can see it's going to go through each of the images. We're going to see our pixel and pixel XL reboot during this process. The screen will just go black and then it will come back on. This process should only take a couple of minutes. And as long as you don't get a big error that stops this process from completing, then you're good to go. Because as you can see, I did get a couple of failed errors through here, but the process continued on, so it's good. And once it finishes, we're going to be asked to press any key to exit. So just press any key on the keyboard. And then you'll see the command prompt disappear. And if we look back at our Pixel or Pixel XL, we're going to see we're still in fast boot mode. So to go back into Android, we just need to make sure this top section has the start option highlighted which it should still be unless you accidentally pressed one of the volume up or down buttons. So we're just going to press on the power button to select the start option. And we're going to see our Pixel XL reboot. And since returning to stock is basically like doing a factory reset, but it's getting rid of any kind of system partition changes that we've made. This first boot up process will take longer than usual. won't take an extremely long time it'll just take it'll just be like as if you pulled the phone out of the box for the first time since all of the data has been erased Android has to set a bunch of things up and once the boot up process is done it will take you back to the Android activation screen
And you're gonna feel a vibrate on the phone once the boot up process is just about done. And now you'll just need to activate Android again.